Once the unit is up and running, it's important to know what it's actually doing, how it's functioning. Sometimes you can be left second guessing. We we're fortunate enough to be outside with, um, sorry, inside the training centre with this unit, so we can see if it's starting up. But when you may be inside the property, remotely away from the unit, you might not know what's happening to it. So it's important to know, uh, see what's happening with it. So if we go to the information screen. It's okay here. Go down to sensors. Here you'll have your outdoor temperature, tank temperature, leaving water temperature or flow temperature from the unit, and return temperature. So you can see your delta T across the two, and your refrigeration temperature there as well. And that flow rate will let you know whether the pump's actually running. So sometimes the pump will be running, so you know the heat pump is actually in some sort of demand mode or perhaps um, an overrun. Um, and then you might be perhaps be waiting for the compressor to run up on temperature here. Actuator is important as well. If you go into that, you can actually see what is and isn't running. So at the moment our pump is off, our compressor is off, our boost heat is off, and um, divert and valve is actually in space heating mode. Thermostat main A, which is our room thermostats, currently has no demand. They are switched off. So that's a good way of checking that your room stats are signaling correctly to the heat pump. Turn those on and off and you should see that turn on and off. And as long as you've got the um, operation modes running, so these are actually on. You can see at the moment they're off. So even if we did have a tank, uh, sorry, a, a room thermostat demand, nothing would be happening. So it's important to remember on operation that these are both on as well. And that will help you determine what's happening with the heat pump. The screen quickly, outdoor temp, current cylinder temp, domestic hot water temp.